A preschool director says someone threatened her with a knife in her own parking lot yesterday. Now she is okay, but of course she's shaken, saying she has witnessed crime increase next to the school for over a year. KXAN's Alex Capriello spoke with her about the incident and what she thinks is behind all the trouble. The safety is first and foremost. On Tuesday, director Dina Flores said a man bathing himself with a faucet outside Escuelita del Alma Preschool threatened her with a knife. It's one of many incidents she's reported to police since last year, including verbal harassment of families, public nudity on school grounds, and theft and vandalism, costing $15,000. Beginning next week, the daycare will invest $23,000 for a fence that will surround the perimeter of the building, which they say should hopefully eliminate some of the loitering that's happening on premises. In fact, while we were in there speaking to the directors, someone came up and approached us. He's been OD'd on heroin, and I need a soda. I got money, but I need to buy a soda or something. So where would I buy a soda to keep my sugar up? I, there's a restaurant. Ma'am? There's a restaurant at the end of the block. That's what we deal with all day long. And she was very nice about it. The preschool is right next to the Days Inn off I-35. The hotel is vacant now, but for the past year, it's been used as a place to take people at a high risk of catching COVID. The majority were homeless, city officials told me last month. The hotel was cleared out almost a month ago, so the city says recent crime shouldn't be associated with it. Since June of 2020, it's gradually escalated to a very unsafe situation. Why are you going to continue to make this even more unsafe for us, for the children who come here? Flores is concerned because the hotel will be converted to a bridge shelter in August. But the city says walk-ins won't be allowed and there will be on-site security, just as there was when it was housing people during the pandemic. They didn't even bother to find out if this past year of, of the homeless being there has affected this business in any way. They could have known that it has been affecting very adversely so that they could have made a, another decision instead of designating it a permanent place. Alex Capriello, KXAN News. Flores says she has also elevated these issues to city council, writing to her council member, Kathy Tovo, yesterday. Now, we spoke to Tovo this afternoon, and she said she is committed to working with Flores and connecting her to city staff to open up a conversation about safety moving forward. The site beside that preschool is one of four former hotels the city of Austin has approved to buy to convert into a shelter. Already, one has officially opened as a bridge shelter. That's the former Roadway Inn in South Austin off the interstate. In mid-June, it took in the first people for this new purpose. It has room for 75 people. The city already expects it to hit capacity by the end of this month or in early August. The Days Inn will operate as a bridge shelter in a similar fashion. Cleaning and preparation now underway there. The first year will be funded by federal tax money from the American Rescue Plan Act. The city of Austin will temporarily place people there to live while being connected to social services and more permanent housing.